right, so this is the dance one ballet test combination. So when we start the physical portion of your ballet test, I'm going to start by just calling out the positions and you just hit the positions. So this is before we start the music, we're just going to go through each of the positions. So first position, your feet, heels are together, feet are pointed out because your turnout is activated. You're activating the turnout from your hips, your glutes, your thighs, not your feet, right? Everything comes from the thighs. From there, your fingers, your hands, should be about where your rib cage ends, your belly button begins, right in that little area, and nice and round like you're holding a beach ball. This is first position. I'm also going to be looking at your posture, making sure that your chest is up, your shoulders are down and back, your ribs are closed, booties tucked under, right, those glutes are activated. So what I want to see from the side is a straight up and down line through your body, from your head all the way to your feet, not something like this. You yeah, understand the sway that's happening there, the ribs are open, the glutes are not activated, chest is up, but too far up because your ribs are open. So I want to bring that rib cage in, I want to bring the glutes underneath my body, and really think straight up and down, like a string is pulling you up to the ceiling. Second position, open up to the side. I'm about hip width apart. Again, your turnout still activated. Your arms are like your small beach ball turned into a big beach ball. So they're still rounded. They're still slightly in front of my body. The elbows are lifted up, not sunk down like this. Um, and again, I'm keeping the posture the same. Fourth position, or I'm sorry, third position. Third position is the front heel meeting the arch of your back foot. So you're about halfway between the toe and the heel on that back foot. And third position arms, one arm is going to be in first position and the other in second. Um, when we established this in the beginning, we said that the opposite arm in front has length. So if your right leg is in front, then your left arm has to be in front. Fourth position, you take a step forward, about six inches, one step forward, so that there's space between your front and back foot. You don't want it too close, because then that just looks like you didn't close your third and your fifth position. And you don't want it too wide either. So about one step, about six, six inches. Um, your arms, the opposite arm of the leg is, is up in high fifth position, and then the other arm goes to fourth. As I said in class, different studios have different versions of third and fourth position. Sometimes this is fourth position, sometimes that's third position, sometimes this is third position. But just be flexible with that and know what your teacher wants in your specific class. So for this class, this is fourth position. Fifth position, you bring your heel to the toe of your back foot. Again, still keeping the turnout, still keeping the posture, squeezing the legs together from the very tops of your thighs all the way down. Your fifth position arms, there's two of them. There's low fifth. This is just two inches above your thigh, just hovering there, but nice and rounded. Um, you don't want to have straight arms, but you also don't want to have like monkey arms, right? So just a nice oval shape. And then there's high fifth, which is above your head. Now again, just like in second position, you don't want this to be too far above your head, too far back, because then your ribs open up. So we're going to keep our arms slightly in front of us. In your peripheral vision, you should be able to see both of your arms. If you're looking straight forward, in the corner of your eye, you should be able to see those two arms. And again, nice and rounded, just like the low fifth position. Okay? So those are your five positions. Um, we did talk about sixth position, which is parallel feet, heels to heels, toes to toes, but we won't worry about that one for this um, test. So after we go through the positions, we'll then start with the plies and the tendus. So we're going to start in first position. You prepare five, six, seven, eight. You go demi plie and up, demi plie and up, grand plie, back, up. Second position, same thing. Demi, demi. Remember, grand plie heels stay on the ground in second position, and you're going to about 90, not squatting down. Okay, so keep it active. Demi up, fourth position. Now, this is the hard one. Think about those headlights. 
your hips had headlights on them, you wanted to stay in front of your car so that you don't hit anybody. In this position, it's pretty natural to let the hips turn. But then your headlights are pointing this way, and you're going to hit the deer that's crossing the road. So keep those headlights facing forward, especially in the grand plie. So from here, you go demi, demi, grand plie, keep the heels forward, or the um, hips forward, pushing the knees out to the side, even weight between your front and back foot, and then you rise up. Fifth position, same thing. Demi, demi, grand plie, back up again. From here, we're going to go through the tendu combination. So just keeping our arms in second position, and that's harder than it sounds. Make sure you keep it supported with your back and your chest, and that your elbows stay nice and lifted. It's easy halfway through the combination to start seeing wilting arms. No wilting. Keep your arms fresh. We'll do four tendus to the front. Two, three, four. Four tendus to the side. One, two, three, four. Close back. We do four tendus to the back. One, two, three, four. And again, four tendus to the side. One, two, three, four. From here, we'll take an eight count, tendu back to first position, five, six, seven, eight. Repeat everything on the left side. So again, what I'm looking for in that combination, in your demi plies and your grand plies, that, that posture is super important. Don't let your chest fall, try not to fall to the sides, try not to touch the ground at all. You should be so lifted in your upper body that your balance is greatly improved. Um, yes. In your tendus, especially in the front and the back, watch your positioning. In the front, your legs should be cutting your body in half. So don't lay a bunch of extra space between your legs here. Make sure that cross is directly in front of your body. In the back, same thing. Make sure it's directly in the center of your body not out to the side like this, okay? Um, that's, that comes from your glutes. Activate your glutes, squeeze the inner thighs together, and you'll, you won't have a problem with that. In the side, wherever your turnout position is, so wherever your toe is pointed when you turn out, that's the line that your toe is gonna go on. It won't be directly to the side. It's gonna be slightly in front of you. You're gonna present the heel forward. In all of those positions, present the heel forward. Right here, don't let the heel pop up and back present the heel forward, okay? And then lastly, no weight in that toe. Nice straight line all the way through from the hip all the way to the toe, nice straight line. We don't wanna bend in the ankle and we don't wanna bend in the knee, especially in the back. Don't do this business. That, that leg's gotta be straight behind you. So, after we finish the combination, we go to the left side, do the plies, 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 tendus, 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 tendus. We end, finish that position. Then you're gonna walk, ballet walk. So on your tippy toes, pointing your toes, lifting your chest up. You're gonna walk to the side where you're going to start with the chasse jeté combination. So your right foot's going to be in front, and you're going to the right side of the room. If I'm looking to the front, that's the right side. You're going to chasse, step, jeté, step, chasse, step, jeté, step. Just twice. When you do that twice, you'll turn around, get your left foot ready, so you can go to the left side. Chasse, step, jeté, step. Chasse, step, jeté, step. Again, that jeté, we're looking for a grand jeté here, which is, those, those are the splits in the air jumps. This is dance one. I don't expect you to have splits in the air. What I do expect are nice straight legs and pointed feet, okay? Um, so instead of seeing something like this, right? I don't want that. I want to see your leg coming out straight and then straight behind you. When you land, please use your plie. 
So if you're landing, I'm going to go on the other side because my ankle hurts. If I land, I have to bend this knee so that I don't injure it, pop it. Yeah? Um, so make sure you're doing that. Make sure you're careful. So we'll do the left side um, just so you can see what it looks like full speed. It's a little hard to get in the camera view. But if I'm starting on the left side, I have my left foot in front. I go chasse, step, leap, step. Chasse, step, leap, step. Think of jumping over the puddle. Okay. Um, on that chasse, make sure you're not leading with your heel. Make sure you're sliding out with your toes first. Pointing, pointing, pointing. So after you've done the leap combination on both sides, you're going to come back to the first side. You've just done your leaps coming across the floor. And you're going to prepare for the chene pique combination. Facing the front, my right leg is in tendu. I'm going to do chenets with your arms going from second to first. You can also just hold your arms in first. That's fine too. So I'm going to go chene, turn, chene, turn. Then pique, pique. Um, sorry, my ankle's hurting, but I'll do it on the left side and explain it a little bit more. So if I go on the left side, Shane, turn, shane, turn. PK, from your PK, you're going to end up in fifth position before you brush out. PK, fifth position. PK, remember, is to prick. So we want to go up on a straight leg. No bending of the knees. We don't want this. Okay, we want a straight leg. Your other leg comes up to passe. Spreading the knee out to the side, activating your turnout. Your foot points to the back of your knee. Really connect it. Make sure it's not hanging out here in outer space. Connect that foot to your knee. Your arms are in third position for this. So the arm that's leading is in first. The arm that's trailing behind is in second. So we do chene, chene, pique, pique. Chene, chene, pique, pique. Then you turn around to the other side. Chene, chene, pique, pique. Chene, chene, pique, pique. Okay? After that, you are done. That's it for your ballet test. Okay. Seems like a lot, but we'll run through it one more time so you can fully understand it. First thing we do is go through the positions. Second, uh, third, fourth, fifth, fifth. Um, I don't really care which way you start. Maybe I'll say hi for the logo. Then we do demis. Five, six, seven, eight. Demi, demi. Rompuy, yeah. Same thing in second, same thing in fourth, same thing in fifth. Ta uh, tendus, starting with your right foot in front. Four tendus to the front, four tendus to the side, four tendus to the back, four tendus to the side. From here, take an eight count to prepare for the next side. Again, demi, demi. Grand plié, second, fourth, fifth. Tendu front, four times, tendu side, four times, tendu back, four times, tendu side, four times. From here, we ballet walk to the side, where you start with your right foot, chasse, step, jeté, step, chasse, step, Jete, step. Other way. Left foot. Chasse, step, jete, step. Chasse, step, jete, step. Prepare for your shunnings. We go shane, shane, pique, pique. And shane, shane, and pique, pique. Prepare for the other side. We go, shane, shane, pique, pique, shane, shane, pique, pique. Make sure you end before you start walking out. Okay? That's it. Keep practicing. We'll keep practicing in class two.